Hey there friends, Cat Daddy Dave here. Today we're gonna learn how to take high speed action jumping photos of our cats. Here's how it works. In order to get a crisp photo of a jumping cat, you're gonna need four things. First, a DSLR or mirrorless camera that allows you to shoot in manual mode. I'm using a Sony a7R 3 I'm also using a fairly wide lens today, a Tokina 11 to 16 set at 11 millimeters. I'm also using a Velo remote shutter release, but that's optional. Second, you'll need lots of light. I'm using an on-camera flash, a Sony HV F4 3M. You can also use constant lighting, like these LED light panels. I'm only using them today to light the green screen backdrop so I can play around with the photos a bit more easily in Photoshop. That's totally optional, of course. You can also just use sunlight if enough of it comes through your windows. Either way, you're gonna need a lot of light, and I'll tell you why in a second. Third, you need a cat. Today we're using a 2018 model calico named Rosalita. This is a very reliable cat for shoots like this. She's almost completely blind, but can see a garbled image out of the far right side of her right eye. She's amazing and she loves to leap. Finally, you need something to make your cat leap. I'm using a cat fishing fishing pole toy with a number three crinkle ball lure. Obviously, you should use whatever floats your cat's boat. Okay, back to the light. Why do we need so much of it? Well, first we need to get good focus on our leaping kitten, and that's hard to do without a wide depth of field. So we need a small aperture setting, the hole through which the light flows, in order to give us lots of focal wiggle room. The smaller the hole, the less light that gets through, so you'll need more light on your subject. Today I'm setting the aperture at f8. And secondly, we need to reduce motion blur, so we're cranking on the shutter speed, or how long the film or sensor is exposed to the light. Today I'm setting it at 1 500th of a second. Okay, now for the fun part. And that's key, it has to be fun. If it's not fun for the kitty, why are we doing it? I just flick the crinkle ball around until she jumps and then I fire away. Not bad, but she's not looking at the camera. So we keep going. Good girl. Not terrible. But again, I want her looking at the lens. It'd be easier if I had a friend. Um, I think a lot of things would be easier if I had a friend like life. I'm just kidding. Okay, see, these are good. These are nice. They're not bad, but there we go. There's our money shot. She's nice and crisp, no motion blur, pretty good focus, and she's well within the green backdrop. So I hope this um, helps you if you want to take some Action Jackson photos of your kitty cat. And thanks for watching. See ya.